ask someone for the evidence of classical liberalism, or let's say social liberalism, John Stuart Mill himself could not produce an evidence that his contemporaries and his colleagues were satisfied with. And he's the father of social liberalism in the West. Now, if he couldn't do it, and he's one of the most brilliant minds of the West in the Enlightenment period, at the peak of the Enlightenment period, I doubt a Pakistani blind follower who attends Lums because, <laughs> because he has the money to go here and then he's smoking a little marijuana and going to a party on the Saturday night and he attends the LGBTQ community, yes? Because his masters, the white man, have told him to do so. I doubt that that guy can produce something even equivalent to what John Stuart Mill could provide. He would be liberating himself if he had just said, I am just following the white man. They have clean streets and tall buildings. They have a higher GDP. Surely they must be right. I don't have any evidence for what I believe. Yet I am following them because they have cleaner streets and taller buildings. Just be honest and say that's the, oh, because of Hollywood. I have been impacted by Netflix and Hollywood. I am impressed by the white man. I voluntarily put myself under colonial ideological subjugation of the white man and the white woman. Because let's be honest, feminism wasn't started in Lahore. <laughs> don't, pre don't pretend that second wave feminism came from Lahore or Karachi. It's not a, a female emancipation, emancipation project that has its roots in the East. It is a Western knowledge production. And now, if you look at, for example, Western feminists, compare the amount of time and energy that they have put into abortion issues and equal pay issues with the amount of energy that they have put into the more fundamental human right of the right of life for women in Palestine, in Kashmir, or Uyghur women, or elsewhere. This shows you, without a shadow of a doubt, that they don't really care about you as much as you care about them. Oh, you, the Quran states this, you love them, but they don't love you. Why do you voluntarily want to be a pajit? And, no, why? The white man is not impressed. He's not impressed, nor does, he, nor does he care about you. If he saw you, the same Pakistani feminists and LGBT advocates that attend lumps, if he saw you on the floor dead, he would have as much care and respect for that image as we have seen he has had for the images of the Palestinian women. So if this is the reality, there is, no need. there is no need. There is no need to subjugate yourself in this manner without evidence. 